Hello everybody, so today I'm back with another Gum Drives cosmetic look for you guys and I'm really happy that um, finally I received some new colors but this time um, I received only four colors, not six colors because I think I ordered the other two with kind of limited edition but um, it doesn't really matter um, so I received four colors that I really love they are beautiful and amazing so I'm going to start off the color that I, this tutorial is actually based on is called He Loves Me Not which is kind of a gold coral color that I really love it's very pretty and then a color called Grenade which is a grey with purple and pink iridescence in it and the other colors that you guys have seen before be, but I do have two new ones I'll do a tutorial on them for sure this is uh, cloud coverage in matte white Disco white, it's like a white with blue iridescence in it, or blue shimmers. And boyfriend sweater, which is a light brown color. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and if you want to know how I achieved this look, please keep on watching. So I went ahead and I did a few things off camera, because I just want to save time. So the first thing I did is that I applied Elf Mineral Eyeshadow Primer all over my eyelid, and also a little bit on the lower lash line which is right there. And next I applied uh, NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk all over my eyelid up to the brow bone and also a little bit on the lower lash line as well. And then I took this one here and this is actually a cream um, eyeshadow and this is from Color Trend Fruity Eyeshadow. It looks like this and this one it is in Peach Pizzazzo <laughs> and it looks like this and I applied this only on the eyelid area. The next color I'm going to be taking it's called He Loves Me Not from Glamour Eyes. And this is the Glamour Eyes packaging. I love it. And this is how the color looks like. It's very unique. It's kind of a gold peach color that I love so much. And I'm taking it with a big eyeshadow brush like this. These are actually new brushes that I received from my mother. Thank you, Mom. And um, these are from um, Kirkland Signature by Brogus. I don't know how to spell it. But yeah, these are amazing. And I think my mom got them from Costco for around $20. Not bad. And I'm going to pick up this color. And I'm going to dust that all over my eyelid only and you can also kind of blend it toward the crease because it's pretty light and then I'm going to be applying kind of a darker color on top so I'm going to put that on my eyelid next thing I want to be doing is to create the outer V outline and I'm just going to take this um, eyeliner pencil from Q, Q-U-O, and this one is in Indigo, which is kind of a dark uh, navy gray color, and uh, these are the ones that comes with a smudge uh, brush at the end. I'm going to actually take this one with an eyeliner brush, which is a straight eyeliner brush, same brand. And I'm going to pick up, I'm just going to clean the brush actually, and I'm actually going to go ahead and pick up that eyeliner. And I just want to go ahead and create my outer V. I'm going to follow my lower lash line, my lower waterline, sorry, and just create a line going up. And then go in your crease. And then you want to do your best to blend that out.
Once you have that place, make sure that you blend it out and also if you make any mistakes, don't worry, just take a Q-tip and clean up the hard or the rough edges. You want to go ahead and blend it with the same brush, doesn't matter. Next you want to take a color called Grenade, also from Gum Dries. And this one I really love, it's kind of like a dark gray with purple and pink iridescence in it. And, well, more like shimmers, and shimmer and iridescence mixed. So I'm going to pick up with the same brush. So I'm going to pick that up and I'm going to go ahead and place it right on top of the eyeliner and you also need to blend. You're also going to see this brush coming along because I'm going to fast forward this, this part. This brush is basically just a crease brush. I'm gonna take off. I'm gonna take more of that grenade and just put it in the crease, and pretty much it. So I'll go ahead and do that. Once you have that done just like this, the way you want it to be, honestly, I'm kind of doubting if they're both the same. <laughs> I've tried my best, but I'm not going anywhere, so I'm not going to really go ahead and embarrass myself outside. Anyway, so I'm going to be taking a boyfriend sweater, which is just a light brown color with the same brush. I'm going to take a little bit of this eyeshadow because it's very pigmented and I'm basically just gonna go ahead and dust it right on top with the same brush I'm taking a uh, cloud coverage which is just in matte white that you guys have seen quite a few times in my videos I'm gonna pick up that color with the same brush and place it as a highlight color and you also want to blend it with the brown that you just applied as well. Now I'm just gonna go back with He Loves Me Not eyeshadow with the same brush. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that and kind of repack it on my eyelid. You also want to kind of blend it with grenade at the same while. And also, I just want to bring it up a little bit in the inner tear duct area and just blend it with grenade as well. Now I'm taking Disco White, which is a white with a blue shimmer inside. And believe it or not, I almost dropped the pigment all over my pants. And now I'm taking it with the same eyeliner brush that I've been using a while ago. And I'm just going to pick up this color and put it in the inner tear duct area just to pop up the eye. And I'm just going to take Boyfriend Sweater again and apply it to the lower uh, lash line with the same brush. So I'll go ahead and apply liquid eyeliner and mascara and I'll be right back. For the liquid eyeliner I use Stila Waterproof uh, Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner and I love this stuff. I recommend it. I, you can get it from Sephora for about, it's kind of expensive but it's really worth it. It's like about $27 to $23 if I'm not mistaken but yeah it's around $20. I love it. And then for mascara, this is actually, honestly one of my ultimate favorite than the other one. I love this one, but the other one is really one of my favorite. Uh, I can actually kind of run out of it and I don't have any more from the Spectralash Avon mascara. So I ran out, so my mom got me this one instead from Avon. This is the Super Shock Max Mascara and it's uh, huge. I never seen a mascara this big before. And but honestly it just separates my lashes so well and it makes them so long. I really like this one. 
probably do a review on it. Uh, for lips, honestly, this lip gloss I had a long time ago, since I was a girl, since I was like a little girl. Um, this one was actually from my dad, because my dad used to work in a cosmetic company, so he used to travel a lot to Italy, to Greece, and all that stuff. And uh, this company is actually a Germany company, and this is called Cosmetica Fananica. And it's uh, just a lip gloss. I don't really have a name or number of this one, but it's the uh, lip gloss roll on, and I love it. It does, it's not sticky at all. As you can see, I quite have used it a few times. I try to save it as well so I won't run out because I can't find this anywhere. And on the website, they don't really uh, sell these anymore. But I love that lip gloss. It's not sticky whatsoever, which is one of my favorite kind. And then right on top of it, I put uh, Gosh, on, Gosh on Stage Cool uh, Lip Jam. It looks like this. It's kind of like a nude uh, coral color. I really like. And this is number 102. And this one I got for special. It was about $5. And I was really happy to find this because Gosh Cosmetics could be a little bit pricey sometimes. And for blush, honestly, believe me or not, this time I use one kind. This is the Fox in the Box Hard Candy Blush, which you guys have seen quite a few times. I took the brown and I contoured my face, like in the cheekbone area. And then I took the uh, kind of orange coral color and I put that on my apples of my cheeks. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below. And I will talk to you later. Bye guys.